just got back from a run. It was a whopping three kilometers, which I think is still fairly impressive considering I'm only about eight weeks postpartum now. But as soon as I finished the run, I got to the end of the driveway and obviously I stopped. Decided I needed to bend over a little bit just to catch my breath. And there was a gentleman passing by with his little one and he asked me if I was out of shape. Now this gentleman, he is actually a neighbor, so he knows that I just recently had a baby. Um, so I was a little bit surprised that he was asking that, but yeah, man, of course I'm out of shape. I just had a C-section eight weeks ago. Cut me some slack here. So the running thing, we're getting back on track, but it's not exactly pretty right now. And I'm sure all of you mamas out there who have either birthed naturally um, or who also had to have C-sections, you guys know that the recovery process is not as quick as one might hope that it would be. Uh, it can be quite challenging, obviously, and the body takes a long time to recover, especially when you're up multiple times throughout the night and averaging maybe five hours of sleep total between the uh, feedings and diaper changes, etc. But motherhood is an incredible journey. Uh, I feel so fortunate and so blessed to have this opportunity to raise my two little ones with my wife and I love it. It's fantastic. Let me know what you think about uh, motherhood and what your experience has been so far. My name is Christine and um, I'm starting a YouTube channel. Let's see how this goes. I'm a mom to two beautiful babies. Uh, their names are Hawk and Gray. Hawk will be turning three very soon and hopefully you guys will be able to celebrate his birthday with us. And Gray has just recently made her appearance in this world about eight weeks ago. So we are now a family of four. So clearly I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of sitting in front of the camera talking to you guys right now. I watch a ton of YouTube videos about how to actually create your first YouTube video and how to get a channel started, etc. But uh, the most common theme that I saw was to just start, upload some content, get it going, and then kind of work from there and make improvements from one video to the next to the next. So here we are. All right, so let's talk about the why. Why am I starting this YouTube channel? Well, it's something that I've kind of wanted to do for years, uh, but my life has just been so busy. So I kind of thought, well, what better time to start a YouTube channel than while on maternity leave and during a pandemic? Nowhere else to go, nothing else to do, except feed babies, entertain them, you know, that kind of thing. So, Let's get this thing off the ground. Uh, in May, I turned 37 and the night before my birthday, I went out for a walk. And during that walk, I was reflecting and thinking about what it was that I wanted to do with this coming year. What, did, what kind of goals did I want to establish for myself? So for instance, when I turned 30, I created an entire list of things, 30 things to be exact. There were 30 things that I wanted to accomplish before I reached my 30th birthday. And I was in fact able to do all of those things and I felt incredibly accomplished. It was a, an amazing feeling to do each of those things. Some of them were, were really big and then some of the things were much smaller, such as writing a letter to a certain person, etc. But it was wonderful to set goals for myself and to actually accomplish them. So since my 30th birthday, I've kind of set little mini goals for myself. Um, but this year there didn't seem to be anything that really stood out. I, had already run a half marathon, a couple half marathons. I completed a half Ironman. Uh, I had, I, I've traveled, I've been married. I've done all of the things, oh, and I had babies. I've done all of the big things that I really wanted to do and the, the big things that I really wanted to accomplish so far. So what I decided that I wanted to focus on now was actually turning it back to everyone else and saying, okay, how can I help you? How can I be of service to you for everybody that I, I encounter? So whether it be friends, family members, students, etc., I want to be helpful to other people. Now, 
in the middle of a pandemic, this is a whole lot harder to do. So YouTube is going to give me a platform where I can hopefully help other people. So will they be people who are directly connected to me? No, not necessarily, but what I hope for is that over the days and weeks and months and hopefully years is that I will be able to help uh, to establish and create a community um, that we can all use to lift each other up and hopefully I can create and inspire you to do all of the things that you have wanted to do. So let's see where this goes.